HookahPro.com, your ultimate source for everything hookah. Find the latest tips and tricks, videos, reviews, contests, and more. Hello, everybody. I'm back, and uh, I know I promised I would get some Nakla and more Hookah Hookah recently, but, uh, well, complications, people, have been getting in the way of that recently. So, I am bringing you a review of another Fantasia flavor. I'm sorry for those who, you know, go, uh, Fantasia, no good. But, some of them I like, and I'd like to let you know which ones of those I do. Makes me think of that gingerbread. Okay. Um, also, I'm trying a new foil method because I'm still using super ashy Fantasia. I don't have the box anywhere. Uh, Airflow coals, which ash 300% more than any other coal. My method, and, and the reason I mention it, was to make a ring of small slits around the circumference of the bowl using my X-Acto knife. It seems to be working pretty good. I'll only be able to truly tell when I take the foil off. I don't think the ash is getting in nearly as much, and the other reason I mention this is because uh, you might hear it make a funny little whistle. The foil whistles a little. The draw is just fantastic, but it might whistle. So, there's that. Try not to pay attention to it. I will come back at the end of the video. Video? Did I say that? I'm tired. Come back at the end of the video and uh, tell you if that's worked or not for reducing the ash. Now, as far as the review goes, I am trying Lucky. Now, this is one of those flavors where if you look at the back of the box, tells you nothing. Sides, top, bottom, front. Don't know what Lucky tastes like. I was assuming, hey, it tastes like a shamrock. Yum. Chlorophyll, right? Now, kind of smells a little bit like chlorophyll when you first sniff the box. That's just a joke. He's teasing about that. It doesn't smell like chlorophyll at all. Don't pay attention to that. I was just being stupid. But, um, the first initial sniffs say, Mmm, very good smelling, uh, slightly candied lime with some mint. I say slightly candied lime because, uh, you know, Fantasia is usually pretty candy y sometimes. The smoke is exactly what you expect. Wonderful and big and poofy. But, uh, I might not do this foil thing again because that whistle's starting to piss me off. Uh, okay, the flavor. Much, much lighter than I would have anticipated from smelling that box. Which is disappointing because that smelled pretty good. You can taste some mint. It's more like a tea mint. You know, like if you got some tea that had a mint flavor in it. That's kind of the mint that's coming through here, which is very unexpected. Kind of nice, but a little too light for me.
and a very, very hard to describe lime-ish, citrus-ish flavor that doesn't scream chemical necessarily. But... It's more like what would happen if you took a uh, cough drop with very little flavor, like a cough drop that has hardly any flavor to it at all, and left it in a bag with a peeled lemon and a lime for a month, and then tasted it. I mean, that might sound rather disgusting, but that's the most I can come up with, and it's not disgusting. It's, it, it's not that bad. I should have smoked this before the video did. Have a little longer to think about what the hell this flavor is. Yeah, much more citrus coming out of here. Lucky. Lucky. What the hell? I'm just glad it doesn't smell like used condoms. Maybe a little licorice undertone. Not anise licorice. Like Twizzlers red licorice. Yeah. Twizzle you know those flavored Twizzlers that come in fruit flavors? That's what's underneath this. It's tea mint and Twizzlers lime. Oh yeah. That's what it is. Definitely. Definitely, definitely what it is. <sighs> but I guess that's it. I don't know if, what more I could say. If you want a very light smoke flavor, but heavily heavy smoke itself, now nice and relaxing. Try it. Try a small box, definitely. Maybe try it at your local lounge if they carry it. You might like it more than I do. Okay, here we are with, uh, well, ash from the coals that say they don't ash. Anyway, my whole pattern, as you can see here, was, uh, oh, candy, is that too bright? It was, uh, not very many holes, just a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 are on the edge, and, uh, two kind of like this in the middle, using my X-Acto blade. The hope was to get less ash into the bowl. And I figured using these Fantasia coals, well, that would be one hell of a test. Now, this is a little warm, so laugh at me as I try not to get my fingers too bad. And the result, oh, a little bit of sheesh sticking to the foil. Come on, come off there. Come off. It's funny, the bowl didn't taste burnt, but there we go. And, uh, you can see there's a little white ash here, but for as much as came off of those things, wow, that's pretty good, I think. Here, let me dump it out. Oop, let me clear off a section here. Keep looking the wrong way because of dyslexia, sorry. Dump it out, and we can see that, uh, in it itself, there's the hardly any ash. So, uh, I would say using this might be a winner for less to no ash in the bowl.